Peace from Holistic Wellness Haven. I am none other than Tanya23, Minister of Wellness. Today, we're going to talk about 10 reasons why meditation and prayer are two different things. And we're going to talk about what those differences are. Now, bear with me. I will be speaking um, from a hodgepodge of notes that I have. And um, so let's get to it. First of all, prayer is typically a form of communication with a higher power or deity, such as God, um, often inviting, involving asking for guidance, expressing one's needs, wants, asking for things, asking for situations to occur or not. Um, Expressing gratitude and gratefulness, thankfulness. Um, or seeking some assistance. So prayer is actually a form of asking for something. Meditation, on the other hand, is primarily a practice that brings you to self-awareness, mindfulness, and excuse me, no excuse. I sneezed. See, it's mind programming. I'm not offering an excuse for my sneeze, but thank you for your patience. Meditation, on the other hand, is primarily for self-awareness and bringing mindfulness of achieving inner peace. Because, see, I decided to speak from my notes, and I will be doing this solely going forward because words have power, and we must... Be careful when we're talking to others. And I don't want anyone to lean on my understanding, but get to the point, you know. <clears throat> so we're going to be truth-oriented, okay? A lot of things that are pretty much out of the realm of debate, okay? So we got... <clears throat> the difference between prayer and inner peace or meditation, which is to maintain inner peace, to achieve inner peace, to actually find out what inner peace actually is. Because I tell you, until you're in a good meditation, you know not what inner peace is. And some people will get to that. <clears throat> Another difference is belief system. Another difference between prayer and meditation are belief systems. Prayer is often tied to specific religious or spiritual belief systems, while meditation can be practiced by individuals from any background. Um, or belief system, including secular or non-religious ones. So then that means that it's a human uh, tool that just because you're human, you're privileged to be able to meditate. Not all beings can meditate, but as humans, we have the privilege to be able to go within 
and to explore our higher and lower selves. Uh, let's see. And might I add, this is from my own understanding, sidebar. Moving forward, we're going to find that meditation is going to supersede prayer. You're going to have to be able to go within quickly to rise to occasions. And before you say, someone else, give me the power, let me just tell you, this is the power. It's already within. You don't have to go. You just boop, tap right in to you. If someone says, here, eat this spinach, and you don't like spinach or you have an allergy to it, do you have to go in prayer to give a reply? Think about that. And your power is what we're talking about. Um, another difference is verbal versus nonverbal. Prayer is often involves the use of words, either spoken aloud or internally, to express your thoughts and intentions, where meditation usually involves focusing one's breath, focusing on one's breath. A mantra, which is a series of words to invoke whatever you are in need of at the moment. Affirmations, might I say. Or other objects of concentration without the need of verbalization is meditation. Prayer usually involves verbal words because you're looking for someone to hear you. And meditation already knows that it's going within, requires no verbiage, no words, which I find very useful. And I also know that all beings do this. For example, someone asked you a question that you choose not to answer, but you have to find the words to tell them now. And so now you have to choose these specific words. Yeah. And so I happen to like not having to verbalize. what's going on up in here all the time. But still communicate and seek and find results. Five, because we're going through 10. Five, structure. Prayer often follows a specific structure or ritual, such as reciting specific prayers from the scriptures or using prayer beads, meditation practices. On the other hand, can be more flexible with a variety of techniques that range from highly structured uh, to completely open-ended. Intercession. Prayer often involves asking for intercession or intervention from a higher power, which to me indicates some sort of weakness 
things that we cannot control ourselves from within. It's like admitting that you have no connection to the universe without God. It's like walking outside in the daytime and not giving the sun credit for creating it. Yeah. And so that would be intercession for intervention from a higher power while meditation doesn't typically include the concept of requesting assistance from external entities. You already have come to overstand that it is within that you are seeking this guidance. Understanding that your source has already given you everything you need to survive. So to me, that particular structure is just a little, what's another word? See, that's why I take notes because my words are like, I'm still fine tuning them, which is really sugarcoating the truth. And let's not, see, I'm trying to move away from that nowadays. And so really it's a weaker form of communication, prayer, is a weaker form of, let's say, meditation. Because once you are meditating, you already understand your power. Or you've got an inkling, or you heard that it's within. And so you're going to find out. That's a certain understanding off the bat. <clears throat> and so... Meditation is the concept, is not the concept of requesting assistance from external deities. And then there's a community aspect, number seven. Prayer can be practiced individually or within a community where people come together to pray as a group. Meditation is often seen as a more solitary activity, though group meditation sessions do exist. But these meditators already understand and practice on their own. There's probably a small percentage of first timers going into meditation groups per se. So there's emotional expression. Prayer can also involve a wide range of emotions such as gratitude, adoration, confession, supplication, as individuals connect with the higher power. Meditation generally focuses on developing a calm, non-judgmental awareness of one's thoughts and feelings. Is a phrase called the dark side of meditation, which is actually when you start to do something called shadow work and you look at and you start to pay attention to some of the not so great things you do habits you have, et cetera. And you start to really look at yourself and improving yourself instead of taking the lesser way and 
about finding other people that are just as messed up as you and forming a group or coalition of some sort so that you can worship together in sickness all the time. Always seeking wellness. Um, number nine, duration. Prayer sessions can vary greatly in length, from brief moments of reflection to extended periods of devotion. Meditation sessions, on the other hand, often have a specific duration such as 10, 20, 30 minutes, hour, eight hours, however long you want to press it. And practitioners may gradually increase the duration as they become more experienced. But there is no stipulation. As there are when communing with groups. Number 10 and the final one, goals. The goals of prayer can vary from seeking divine guidance to expressing thanks. Whereas meditation typically has more consistent goals, such as achieving mental clarity, reducing stress, or cultivating mindfulness, you know? In closing, you have to do what's best for you at the end of the day, but always use all of your tools. And don't be afraid to try different things, something you have possibly never done before. Have a little adventure. Here's a challenge I'm going to leave with you all. I challenge you, if you've never prayed, if you possibly can be that open, try it. And then try meditation. Leave your comments. Please subscribe and like our videos because we're um, independent artists in our own right. And um, until the next time, be well and say your prayers and meditations no matter what.